Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Stasis. I think we have to turn this multiple times. I know this because I've died a lot, and now I figured out that we have to do that. Come on, old man. There you go. John, you have amazing strength. This means we can now drill acid out of the vent. Vent? I mean that. Yeah, you can stop making that noise, dude. I don't like it. There we go. It's actually worked this time as well. Because the acid is not going to hit us. That is good news. So that should have alleviated... Yeah, that's alleviated the lockdown, hasn't it? It has indeed. Let's get the fuck out of here. I don't know if this game has enemies and stuff, but I guess we will find out as we go on. That elevator is now active. Before I go through there, I'm just going to check out this floor a little bit. I will be back in case... I Before I go on the elevator, guys, I'm going to check out this floor a bit. I'll be back in a second. So, guys, I've been looking around for a while, and this came to my attention. A knife-like shard sits among the pieces of shattered glass. I now have a glass shard. Everything else looks like there's nothing else around, so let's jump on the lift and see what's in store for us. Please. That looks like quite compli- Yeah, it does. So, product storage one, product storage two, serve lobby one, serve lobby two. I guess we'll try product storage two. This reminds me a bit of sanitarium. And that's a good thing, because I, I like that game a lot. Hanging out on the lift. Don't know what I'm doing, yeah. I like lift music, by the way. I'm very glad that this ominous, dilapidated space station has that music still. Product storage 2. Access to product storage 2 is denied until further notice. Can you hear that, guys? I can hear that. We're leaving now. Let us never speak of being on this floor ever again. Oh, there appears to be a product storage 3 that I didn't actually see there. The button's been ripped off. Isn't this nice? Hanging out. Product storage 3. Server, wherever I went, didn't go there. Can't remember what floor I picked. I'm sure it will be nice. Attention. Service platform one. Please check in with the duty officer before engaging with any products. Okay. Well, let's have a look around, I guess. There is a dead body here. What are they doing here? An adult-sized body bag lies abandoned on the floor. It appears to be full. Two child-sized body bags lie very close to one another, as if for warmth. I can hear someone whimpering. Clara Daniels is a general nurse. When Mike suggested that I go and work in product storage, I honestly thought he was nuts. I mean, the pay is great and the hours are fantastic, but the job... Well, I think it'll be boring. Apparently, the only time a nurse is ever needed is when they crack a stasis tube open, which Robert, the admin officer, said hardly ever happens. Nine out of ten times, they just take the pods directly to the different projects. I'm hopeful they'll be able to open one soon. That's pretty morbid. Tomorrow, I'll actually get to do some work that doesn't involve monitoring vital signs. We're opening a pod for Dr. Isaacs in Project Kitchen Knife. 
They said they need a specimen who is fully awake. These pods are filled with prisoners and drifters. They had their chance at productive life and ruined it all. But that isn't true, so she's being fed misinformation. Yesterday we were much... In fact, and also, even if... Fuck you! I mean, it's not fair at all. I mean, what if it's just a small crime? Or what if they're a fucking... Being a drifter isn't necessarily like a massive crime or anything. You shouldn't be fucking subject to fucking medical torture for it. You know what I mean? Let's not even get into a debate on which crimes you, you should be subjected to medical torture for. Let's just move on with Clara Daniels. What a nice lady's nights. Yesterday was much harder than I'd imagined. When we opened the pod, the woman inside had no idea where she was. I'm aware the long-term stasis can cause disorientation, but she kept screaming for her husband, saying they were on their way to a holiday on Europa. The doctor quickly sedated her and gave her a vocal cord numbing agent to stop the screaming. I mean, she was obviously lying about being a holiday maker. These drifters will say anything to get out of this situation. That's fucked up. We got another two products in the co in this morning. Transfers from a penal colony on Earth. I asked to have a look at their files, hoping it would make this a little easier, but I was told all their records are sealed. I had to delete the last few logs. I read them over again, but they were just too painful. I can still hear the crying of the last man we thawed out. He didn't even scream. He sat on the bed, crying, until the doctors came in. They tagged him and took him down to the labs. He didn't even scream. Yesterday, we opened up a pod with a ten-year-old boy in it. There must have been some sort of mistake. Even if he was a drifter, he's a child. His name is Neil. He's in rehabilitation downstairs. I asked to go and visit him, but was told it would be easier for me if I just let things be. Neil's dead now. I went to product storage. I requested a transfer to the biomes. I think... I want out of product storage. I requested a transfer to the biomes. I think hydroponics will cheer me up. Huh. The pay isn't as good, but at least I'll be able to sleep at night. I heard the department heads talking about getting something for product storage. They already have four unopened stasis pods in the lab, but they're looking for a subject that can respond immediately. This isn't right. So Clara isn't so bad. They're using products from product storage too. I thought this was just a hydroponics bay. What the hell would they need human specimens for? Sarah told me there were more children in the rehabilitation centres under product storage. I'm going there tonight. These security lockdowns have been happening more frequently. I'm going to use them to my advantage. Tomorrow, I'm going to get those kids out of here. Didn't work out, did it, Claire? Clara? I'm leaving these entries on the PDA, so if I disappear, you'll know what happened. Whoever's reading this... You need to help. Please help those children. So, yeah. It's pretty fucked up. What do you think, Cla Clara? A biometric access door that requires a handprint to unlock it. She has a hand. Can we remove our hand with glass shard? Hmm. I guess not, but I'll try. I don't think that'll work. Okay, no. Oh well, I guess we can't go down here yet. Smeared blood makes it impossible to see into the room beyond. Dirt cakes the inside the glass observation portal. Okay, so we need to get a hand or someone's ID or something to get down here or find someone that's going to help us. While we're at it, I may as well check product storage 3. Okay, we're going to serve lobby 2 instead then. That didn't sound good. That was a scream. That was a fucking scream. But who cares, we have nice relaxing lift music. As long as I think about the lift music and relax, what can go wrong? The answer is absolutely nothing at all. Colder. Doesn't sound very good. Hello? Hello? Well, where do I go? A flickering light highlights the scratches on the elevator door. Some of the scratches look like they were made by bare nails across the paint. That's pretty fucked up. These are all locked. Okay. Holy mother. 
I just threw up. Um, I'm not Yuri. Uh, I do like the um, manga and anime genre Yuri, though. Is that what you're talking about? I, I think it must be. Exposed human fat catches the light as blood flows freely onto the cold metal floor. The static of a radio signal, a faint voice, echo from under the corpse. This corpse is moving. Can we kill it with the drill? This isn't going to work. Okay, it's, it says dead body. Reading radio signal through blood suit. <laughs> Is anyone there? Who is this? Identify yourself. Where's your child's My name laugh? Is John. <laughs> Mar I'm. John? Never mind. Yuri there. I'm sorry. He's been. He's, He's moving quite a lot, to be fair, for a dead guy. She's bad. Right now, you need to get to the track. I'm not going anywhere until you explain to me what the hell is going on. Okay. Before we do. <coughs> yep, good. Oh, I knew I needed a hand. Come on. Got a hand. Let's get the fuck out of here now. Did you see that? I saw that. Do not move. Okay, I'm not moving. Attention. Tram terminal access will be granted once biological containment protocols have been I'm not moving. Please don't kill me. It's not like fucking That's true. Where is Not just a rumor. The it's a medical research ship. But Kane, why would they need a ship for research? There dozens of It's that kind of research. Yep. The stuff you don't do on planets. Let me on. What? My wife, my daughter. They're probably a human centipede right now. I'm getting the fuck out of here if I can. This looks trammy to me. Oh, the tram looks dark. Fuck. There must be a way to get it up and running. Okay. Alright. I'll see what I can find. I'm more concerned about the weird fucking sound I can hear. Alright. Seating. I do have the hand now, so I can go back and unlock the other door on the other floor. Which is probably important, I'm guessing. I could save my game as well. I haven't saved at all yet. Yeah, that's definitely dead as a dodo. Anything else around here that looks like it could be of use? There's got to be something. There's got to be something of note. I'm scared to be here. The crates hold nothing of use. Alright, let's get back to the elevator and see if we can fly the fuck out of here. Fly the fuck out of here? You know what I mean. Use that other door. Don't like being on this floor in general if there's an immediate threat to my life. Okay, so... We're going to use the hand to open the door here, 
go through and hopefully find something that will help us fix the elevator. Is that a sound plan, guys? I think that's a sound plan. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, I said everything's better with the music. It's like, oh, I can just chill. No need to panic. No need to be scared. No need to be on edge at all under any circumstances. Do not like all the weird sounds on this floor. Right. Here we go, hand. You open the way. That is our name. Don't wear it out. The morgue. Oh, ice. Damn fucking right. It looks a bit too cold though, like, you know, like, fucked. Autopsy reports. Body was discovered in crew quarter bathrooms. Arms had been cut from wrist to elbow. Blood out in seconds. Compound fracture along lesh femur. Hyaline fractures alongside tibia and fibia. Dislodged clavicle on both sides. Penetration of crowbar through skull. That's circled, so it's probably important. So I'm guessing we need the crowbar to fix the thing. But we need something to get these open. The faint outline of rusted red metal handle is visible through the frosted over pane. Frozen liquid cakes the glass. Beyond the portal, everything is pitch black. Indistinguishable shapes lie beyond this portal. So we need something to dethaw this. I mean, to be fair, a furnace sounds promising, but we're probably going to die right now, aren't we? You ready to die? The combustion of bodies at high temperatures is facilitated by this open furnace unit. A series of interlocking teeth are wrapped around the mechanical wheels. You going to do anything with it? It's going to... I mean, it's not important. It's fine. That's that's fine. You can just like bum around with it. Not a problem at all. Okay, so what can I do here? Can we drill? I mean, we need to get access to this. Great. Um, wet, dirty towel. You never know. Like, get a grip on things like you do. Like when you open like a bot, like a can. This actually seems to be working. Holy fucking shit! The wet towels wound tightly around the cog. That's good, right? What do we do now? So, I don't think there's anything else we can do in here. I don't know what to do. We can look around a bit more, I guess. And, oh, we can interact with these. I didn't notice that before. Scare the fucking shit out of me! Got an open body bag here. Guess we just open them all up and hope we don't get too many more jump scares. Fuck off, wall over there. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. The dead child's eyes stare directly at you, as if in recrimination. <sighs> oh, it's not our child. Is there anything actually in- are we just doing this like- what- I mean like- is there any reason for doing this? I'm just trying to find out what to do. There's something here. What are we- something about a toe tag? Electronic toe tag. Well, I don't know if that does anything in here, but let's try the electronic toe tag with the door. You never know, do you? You never know. Toe tag on the cog mechanism? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Huh. 
Anything else in here we can use? Like if I was an electronic toe tag, what would I be used for? I don't know what I was thinking man. Did he try and use it on that? Let's just try that one more time. Oh, he did something. Oh. Run. 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 Get the fuck out of there. Run. Okay. I'm not quite sure how that toe tag did anything, but still. You got a lodge crowbar firmly in the cadaver's head. Can we drill it out the cadaver? Mm. Let's pull it out. Oh god. Come on. We need this crowbar for something. Oh shut up, you're probably evil. You're probably evil, you know. The bones make a rough sketch of the human form. An unbearable stench rises from the rotting corpse. Unlike many other surfaces and the autopsy table is surprisingly clean. Well, that's nice to know. Let's get the fuck out of here now. Okay, so we got a crowbar. Not quite sure what that is going to achieve, the whole crowbar thing. But it is a crowbar. The real question now is, what the fuck do we do with the crowbar? And I guess we can find out on the next installment of Stasis. I hope you enjoyed this so far. If you did, remember to leave a like, a favourite, a comment. Let me know what you thought of the series so far. And I will see you in the next instalment. Have a great day, guys. Bye for now.